What is going on everybody? Thanks for tuning in to another Bama Saltwater Fishing episode. If this is your first time tuning into my channel, go hit that subscribe button down below. It allows you to keep up with some great, fun, entertaining content. And I really appreciate you if you already have. This is going to be a pretty quick afternoon trip. There are some scattered thunderstorms and all I got to do is get the boat hooked up and we'll head out and get it launched and go fishing. So stay tuned. Let's get in some fishing. I'm going to start out by throwing this Yozuri jerk bait. This is a 3DS minnow. It's a little bit over two inches long. One of my favorite jerk baits. You can see all the teeth marks of fish that I've caught on this bait. And all I have is about two foot of Yozuri 15 pound fluorocarbon leader. I'm going to be throwing this on my Vanstall VR50. 20 pound Yozuri Super Braid on a seven and a half foot St. Croix Avidential Rod. It's an incredibly simple lure to work. It resembles just any small bait fish. And that's what's mostly popping right now. And all you do is cast it out. Twitch, pause, twitch, twitch, pause. I'm just gonna continue covering some water here and casting out this lure and see what we can find. Oh, they're right here. Just that three tarpon roll, little bitty. Little bitty mini tarpon. They're right here. There. Oh, yeah, that tarpon just smashed that bait. They're right here. Okay. Perfect cast. Perfect cast. Turn on. He just turned on it. Come on. Shoot, they're all over the place. Oh, got him. Oh, he came off. Oh, he came off. Come on. Come on. Come back. Dang it. I had him hooked. I had him hooked. I don't know what happened. He just came off. I guess bony, really bony mouth. Come on. Come on. Oh, he's chasing after it. Come on. Oh, oh. They want it. They want it. They want it. Oh, oh, come on. Come on. Got him. Oh, he spit it. <laughs> he spit it. I need to tighten that drag a lot more. He spit it. Dang. Okay. Come on. Come on, Tarpy. Oh, got him. Ah, they want it so bad, but I'm not getting them hooked. Ooh, they might fray that leader up. I might lose the next one, but I'm going to cast back out. Dang, I had my chance. Ah, they're, right, they're still right here. I might lose it if I hook it because the leader is super frayed up. But they are right here. Dang, I had a chance to get them. Ah, they're still here. They're still right here. Come on. Come on. There are tarpon all over the place right now. Oh. There, there's like five tarpon all around me. So there are a few tarpon rolling, so I'm going to take this little bitty swim bait and see if I can get one. He's hitting it. Ah, choked it. Ah. <laughs> Didn't let him feed long enough. Son of a gun. Hooked him. Mm. He wanted that bait. Mm. That's, so, that's so fun. And my leader's okay, which is good. They have pretty bony mouths, so you have to be careful with your leader. Make sure it's not too frayed up. I have to work on my hook set. All right, it's the next day. I am back out yesterday. Hooked in a whole bunch of fish, but cannot quite keep them pinned. So today I am out again to redeem myself. It's a lot hotter today, but we'll see what we can do here. I'm gonna start out by throwing the Lucky Craft Pointer SP jerk bait here. I love this minnow imitating bait. I do have a small paddle tail tied up as well. Oh, 
heck, dude. Okay. Well, you know, I wasn't quite prepared for that. So let's uh let's try that again. I was not quite prepared for that bite whatsoever. <laughs> I think I was working it pretty fast when he hit. But I know exactly what that fish was. I'm just trying to get one up to show you. And they're still here. Oh, hey, he was right here at the boat. Right at the boat. I'm going to switch to the swim bait since I know it's here and see if that will get him. There's a huge blow up right there. Let's see if I can get it. Come on. Just some big old minnows. Big old fish. Just roll. Get the cast well past it. Oh, he just ate my bait. Oh, golly, dude, I can't get him. Can't get him. He just he just ate it. I can't seem to get a hook set on him. Mm. There's another one. Come on. Come on. I'm just throwing a single hook to jig head here. I know what I'm targeting is catch and release only, but the single hook, your hookup ratio is not as good, but those fish have a higher survival rate. It is so hot outside right now that I am sweating like crazy but my camera won't even stay on because it's overheating. Hopefully you can hear me. I'm trying to be really quiet to get these fish. That's the reason I'm seeing so much is because I'm pretty quiet and then the rest is just on me setting the hook too fast or not letting them feed fast enough or them just spitting the hooks. Right here. Right here by the boat. Right here. They're all over the place. They are all over. Look at all the tarpon. Look at all the tarpon. Come on. Come on. There's like three tarpon that just rolled right in front of me. Pretty nasty cloud. But it's passing over pretty quick and there's some clear sky behind of it. So hopefully it won't start right here. It'll start raining after it goes by me. Got him. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Got him. Shut the power pole down. Ah, got him. Yeah, bud. That's what I'm talking about. Heck yeah, man. Shooting boat. Check him out. <laughs> Tarpon. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. On the single hook. Heck yeah, we're going to hurry up and get this picture and get him released. Tarpon, buddy. Check it out on the single hook. We're going to hurry up and get it back in the water. Check the tarpon out. Finally got one. Finally. Here you go, buddy. There you go. Come on. He's sucking my thumb. And he swam away just fine. Heck yeah. Wasn't even out of the water for about 10 seconds at the most. Finally got one on the boat and landed. You want to keep those fish out of the water as little as possible. You want to keep their survival rate up as much as you can. And they don't even taste good. And they're highly regulated too. You have to have a tag. They have to be a certain length, etc., etc. You can look that up. But I finally got one on the boat. I'm so excited. I've hooked tons of them. But I came out here with some single J hooks because I didn't want to get a whole bunch of trebles in these fish. I know they're here. I know I can get them to eat. I just couldn't keep them pinned. I finally put on a dockside tackle golden eye jig head. This is a 1 8 ounce. Awesome jig head. Man, it has been a hot one today in the past few days. But I am so excited that I was finally able to get one landed on the boat. Then the combo I was throwing it on is a pin battle 3. 2500 and then a pin battalion 2 seven foot medium fast inshore rod and i had this spooled up with 10 pound yozuri super braid and then my leader was a 20 pound yozuri hd fluorocarbon i finally accomplished my goal of getting one landed on the boat and getting a picture that is extremely awesome if you didn't know this this is a fun fact a lot of people don't the tarpon is the alabama state 
fish. I am blessed to be able to fish for them, but I appreciate you watching. I'm gonna head back home. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. It's that thumbs up down below this video. I really appreciate it. If you haven't already subscribed, go hit that subscribe button down below. I like to continue making videos, doing some fun fishing and sharing the outdoors with everybody. And I appreciate all y'all who have already subscribed and got me to the point I am now. And I look forward to continue growing the channel. But if you haven't already, go check out my Facebook, Instagram, and then I have a TikTok. It's Bama underscore saltwater on Facebook and Instagram. It's just Bama saltwater. It's very easy to find. You can go give those a like and follow. But I appreciate you for watching. We'll see you on the next fishing video. I want to thank the good Lord up above for everything he does for us. We'll see you later.